What's going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video today once again, and today we are going to take a look at Spain's road to the 2012 Euros victory. Now, I wanted, wanted to begin at Euro 2008 and then to the World Cup in 2010 and then Euro 2012, but I think it's better necessary, I mean, just more in general because this tournament is so much of a, a big reminiscing for me because this is one of the most amazing Euros in my opinion. And Spain capping it off with yet another victory, winning the trifecta of tournaments with the Tiki Taka football, uh, with just the beautiful team, Th this amazing team that they have, all finally coming together for the third straight tournament, all eventually led up to the 2014 World Cup disaster. And I think this is always the best tournament to start with, because I think it is the one they kind of performed the worst in. I think they were better in the World Cup in 2010, and they would they dominate Euro 2008. So we're gonna take a look at the Euro 2012, uh, and then we might go Euro 2008, and then the World Cup, uh, just looking at the road to it. Obviously, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on this video. Let me know your thoughts on this tournament. Who was the best player for the Spanish national team? In my, in my opinion, it's always either Iniesta or David Villa, but obviously, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below, and let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Also, this was a very tough group. The fact that they actually did end up getting Italy in the first game. It's such a good goal. It is such a good goal. Cesc Fabregas. Uh, all I want to say is Cesc Fabregas always comes back when you need him the most. He's always there when you need him the most. 2010 World Cup should be a perfect example of that. Yep, there he is. There he is. I do not remember that. How can you not just stop him from dribbling in front of He's dribbling like he's six shots. Shot. David Silva just wrecked. El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. Behave, my guy. Behave. Just, guys. David Villa. Fernando Torres. David Silva. Seth Fabregas. Iniesta. Xavi. Xavi Alonso. Sergio Busquets. Like, that, like, all of those players that can play in the front six of Spain. And then you got Ramos and, and Pique in the back still. Oh, the team is just too good. It's it's a little unfair when you think about it. All in their primes as well. Oh, and I forgot about Jesus Navas. Yeah, with the speed and the pace. This French team is, is was really bad. The, the, French, the France national team was very bad. It, it made no sense to me. Xavi Alonso double. Mm, 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 mm. And Santi Cazola. Oh my gosh. I love the Spanish. This Spain team at this time was so good. Oh. Spain, Portugal, back when it didn't matter if Ronaldo was in the way. Oh. Mm. You can tell they were pepper in Portugal. Mm. That's a good shot too. Abusing Xavi Oh, he's not having it. He was, gonna, he was going to protect Portugal as much. It's still Rui Patricio. Oh my goodness. I just realized that. Ronaldo and Rui Patricio have, have lasted so... Them and Jean Moutinho. They've all lasted so long in the team. They've all aged so well. Ronaldo wanted a free kick goal so bad. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You gotta know what's going on. Oh! Oh, 
Yep, there it is. Oh, what a save! What a save by Rupertry! I thought this was a given. I thought that was definitely a given goal. Oh, Iniesta, how do you miss that? The penalty shootout. Oh. Jai Alonso of all people to miss. Come on, Casillas. Mm -hmm. This this is this is prime Ika Casillas at his finest. This is him at his it sucks to see the decline that he had. Um, but this is prime. A pre balding Andres Iniesta. Oh, because he should have that too. Those are two really good penalties. Nani, Nani and Pepe. Straight down the center. Sergio Ramos, cold blooded. Yep. <laughs> I know that has to make Ronaldo so angry that he doesn't even get the chance to try and win it for Portugal. And Sus Fabregas, I told you guys, he always shows up. He always shows In big tournaments, he always was such a baller. And Ronaldo is so salty about it. He is so, so angry. Just, you cannot tell me that this is not the saltiest, saltiest mad Ronaldo. That man is so angry. He is so angry. I love it though. I absolutely love it. And then, yeah, this final was, uh, I just want to say for Italy in this case, this is nearly, not nearly the same team, but there are a lot of members of this team that were also part of the 2006 World Cup winning squad. Uh, and although I still think France should have won the World Cup, obviously Zidane doing his, that's history. Um, Spain were prepared to, to absolutely put the sword to them, and they did in this game. It, it is just, it, oh, it's going to be so lovely. Oh, to get ahead of they make that so easy. Yep, right, right to El Nino. Right to El Nino. Chiellini is, yeah, it's just getting picked apart. It's sad. Buffon stood no chance this game, and it sucks. Because you know Italy wanted to win the Euros with Buffon so bad, but Bonucci and Chiellini were not going to stop them. Especially when you give Spain so much time on the ball like this. Oh, what a delicious tramp goal. Use the outside of his foot and Buffon at this point knows it's over. He knows there's no way he's getting to that ball. Juan Mata, oh my god! I just keep remembering more and more people that are on the Spanish national. Oh my goodness, there are so many players. Who could have played and or started or been there for Spain and they probably still would have had the same outcome. Look at the fans, man. Spain, Spain I, I know the Spanish fans had to be so happy during this whole time. Like, just getting to rejoice. Three major tournament victi victories. Knowing you are the dominant force in world football for, for essentially what is the fourth year in a row. It's gotta be a great feeling. I mean, it's gotta be a tremendous feeling. European Championship, World Cup, European Championship. It's a perfect treble. And then getting to lift the European Trophy one more time. <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, now obviously with Spain's six nothing win over Germany, Spain look like. They could easily be a team that could compete in Euro 2020 or 2021. Um, but 
I still think the winner is going to come out of that Group F with France, Portugal, and Germany. Even it, Ger This is not the best Germany team that they could have faced. Obviously, the defense was abysmal. There was not a lot that was going right for them in that contest uh, against Spain, but Spain looked amazing once again. Uh, Sergio Ramos didn't end up injured, but it didn't matter because they were just, they they looked like the Spain of old, which is why we're taking a look back at their roads to the World Cup in 2010, to Euros in 2008, and obviously for this video, the road to the Euro 2012 victory. So you guys can let me know your thoughts. Uh, the other videos will hopefully be here if they're already out. They will be towards the end of this video, but you guys can let me know your thoughts. Definitely sub to the channel if you guys want to see more videos like this, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.